Hi, welcome to my Windows 10 machine. I've just made a tutorial how to install VirtualBox on Windows 10. By the way, I have version 18.03. Then we went on and took a look at Arch Linux B, where I told you you have different possibilities to install Arch Linux. There is the, what we call the big ISO, which contains three elements, three big desktops, XFC, OpenBox and i3. Then there's Arch Linux D, which is more the base kind of thing. It's, it's a black screen you end in. It's a graphical installer, all everything fine, but when you boot up again, it's going to be black like the Arch Linux way, you know? Then there is Arch Linux B, where you are going to build the ISO yourself. So you decide what goes on the ISO, the result is an ISO, and then you start experimenting on VirtualBox or install on SSD. And there are two projects. There is this minimal project, so this is the complete one, around 2 gigabytes, not Plasma, Plasma is always bigger. And minimal desktop is 600, 700 megabyte less, so lots of software is excluded, not installed, just one browser, just one editor, and so on. That's what we call the minimal one. So what can you do? What is the topic of this video? Well, we've um, downloaded already uh, BSPWM minimal, so you can build it. That's the idea of these scripts. We give you the power to run script 30 and to edit the package files here. And then you say, I want to have Steam on it. I want to have Fobia Studio on it, etc. etc. So you decide what goes on your ISO. It's a personal ISO, it's your, your system. But if you say, no, that's too much, no, not for me, then you just download here to available on SourceForge, and that's our selection, of course, of software. And I have already downloaded um, the SPWM, so everything is, is ready. The topic of the video, however, is how to dual boot. So we've already made an article in speed multi minimal, so if you want to have a look at that, you can quickly boot up and see how that looks and feels. But the idea is actually to get another grub we will, will have a grub that contains both elements, Mate Minimal and BSPW Minimal. So you just log in. This is what Mate Minimal looks like. Just one browser. We have your two editors here. Music, video, and some stuff just from Mate coming from them. So a lot of things um, you can take a look at, but this is Mate Minimal. The goal is a dual boot. So I'm shutting down again. Shut down. But you've seen the grub. The grub will change. I'm gonna say to the system, it doesn't matter if we're now on a virtual box or on an actual machine, it will be the same procedure. You download an ISO, burn it on your um, USB. Okay, so a good year and a proper new USB 3.0, 3.1, um, good software to put it on. So Minstick is good, Etcher is good. You can see on arclinux.info slash download how and what software you can use on Mac, Windows or Linux. And once that's done, you have to need to boot it. You have to be able to know on your hardware how to boot up from USB and then you're set. So the same applies here. I set here my USB, right? This ISO is going to be burned on USB, so I'm putting it in and I'm booting from here. So this is the image we get, or it could be an EFI look. This is a scrub look, it's a bias look, but it could be an EFI which is four or five lines, no design, no nice look, but just four or five lines, I think first one is the good one. So we're booting up from the ISO, not from Mate. So BSPWM. But as you know by now, we use XFC as a delivery system, so you don't see anything live. There's no live impression. This is just a delivery system, it says here all the time. So you need to try and, and, and figure out now what's next, so it's still the language you can choose here, but I always keep the same. Choose a language. Where are you from? I'm from Brussels. Next, choose your 
language, which is Belgian in my case, not language, but keyboard. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Azerty, not QWERTY. Next, and here is the thing that matters most. So either you say, and this is the easiest way, say install alongside. So installer will shrink a partition to make room for Arch Linux B. The only thing is you need to click somewhere. You can't click here because that's the swap thingy. So you need to have this guy. So that's the biggest one. And you are going to cut Mate Minimal into two parts. One is going to keep the blue one, which is Mate, and the other one is going to be the new one, BSPWM. You can change a little bit these lines here to make it easy, but 50-50 um, is a good, good thing, right? You can also replace a partition or just decide to erase everything and get rid of Mate altogether. So it's either these guys I think is the most, and the fir first three are actually the ones I use most. And to be honest, I always use this one, 90%, and only this guy, if I have an SSD, where I want to have Arch Linux B, XFCE, and Arch Linux B, XFCE minimal. Then I use install alongside. So that's exactly what we're doing now. So just remember, you have to click somewhere, right? You have to tell him what partition to resize. And then, okay, slider, and go ahead. Now the names, of course, are the same, but not what I put on it. This is going to be BSPWM, and it's the minimal version. I'll want to log in automatically without asking for a password, which is not going to work, and there's an explanation online why, and use the same password. And let's do its, its work. Maybe we can use that time to take a look at the why it's not going to work. So here you see, we will use XFC as the delivery system for your desktop. The live CD will not have your chosen desktop. You need to install to see it. Yes, we are installing. If you want to auto login, change etc lightm lightm conf. Look for auto login session your desktop, which is now XFC because we are always starting from Arch Linux. We are not actually making new ISOs. No, we are our borrowing from the code from Arch Linux, which contains start me XFCE. So the only thing you have to change is this line, four letters, XFCE, deleted, write BSPWM, done. And I make you a little bit smarter in the process because you find the names here. So it's a very interesting uh, folder on your system, user share X sessions. All right, I'm gonna make this thing bigger, I hope. Yep, there he is. But I'm gonna pause for a while. All right, we're ready to resume. We start now, done. Well, the smaller your ISO is, the faster it will unpack everything. Now let's have a look at this grub. This grub needs to be set correct. So I'm gonna power up first. Tell to the system, look, Forget about this USB, sorry, slash ISO. So we don't have an ISO in there anymore, or USB. And this is the normal boot up on your machine. As you see, and that's the reason why I started with Mate in the first place, there are some more lines. Grub has changed. I have here Arch Linux B Mate Minimal on device SDA1. And this one doesn't say what device, but it certainly is not SDA1. So you have two choices now to boot up from, this one or that one. Let's go for BSPWM. Remember, it can never auto login, so we'll get this prompt. Which is okay, which is fine. And this is also fine, as long as you know that you have to quit. Super, Shift, Q, Stop, Application and super x exit very interesting little shortcuts so super x i'm gonna log out and why is that because it does not know i have screens of 1920 and 1080 which is now fixed it's as simple as that log out log in done and the system knows again hey i have more pixels 
So this is BSPWM. We're working on the same machine, same hardware, same hard disk. Uh, but this guy here is now, um, well, not a desktop environment. So there you go, how to dual boot. This is pretty much how to dual boot. Um, thinking, did I leave something out? Did I? I was thinking of one thing. Now, updating is, uh, you know by now what updating is, I hope. Um, there are two commands, several commands. Well, first Casey, remember she's a girl, Casey. There you go. Kill the conky. That's how I remember. I think about Casey. So Casey is kill conky. That's done. Uh, so the updating part is just update. And then you wait till everything is updated, which is quite a lot. Stop. <laughs> and the other one is PKSYUA. And then you update that lot. And then, whoop, let's stop that one. Control C, Control C. And that's how you update your system. So we're not gonna waste any gigabytes on that, on this virtual machine. But what I'm gonna explain, so it's in a video somewhere, is this uh, this element of, um, what was it? User, share, X sessions. You see here the name of your desktop environment, so BSPWM. That's the exact name that I need to know, because I want to auto login into this environment, this desktop. So etc, lightdm, lightdm.com, right mouse click, open with something that can save there, which is sublime, sublime text, this is super. And then just put this guy to not plain text, but Perl, which makes it so much re more readable. Everything that's light is working and all the rest is just gibberish. It's not looked at. And here it says, user session accepts E. Helper, it's BSPWM. Auto login user, timeout, blah, 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 auto login session, aha, BSPWM. If you now save this, you get a pop-up, I said, I know my password, and you put in your pseudo password, and then, well, let's just restart. And now we're going to log back into BSPWM, this time, I'm not touching anything, and everything will be auto logged to the system. So it's as easy as that, making a package for just four letters to change is a bit silly. So that's why you have to do it manually. It's as simple as that. Just change auto login from XFC to PSPWM. So there you go. That's um, how you dual boot. There's nothing left to be set, um, except maybe if you want to change anything concerning to grub, then you should super shift D should know the name Grub Customizer. That's something you maybe should remember. If you want to change something about this, this Grub thing, then this is the one, that's the first line you saw, it was this one. And down here are the other ones. This is closed. And this one was the, the second one. So if I want this guy to be on top, on line number two, or maybe on line number one, why not? Then I'm telling the system, boot up with Mate Minimal. And I'll choose to go to BSPWM if I like it. So everything is possible. You can switch around here. The only thing you need to do is just save. So let's assume I want to boot up with Mate Minimal, standard. Then I put it here as the first one. Why there? Because it says, Default entry, predefined first entry. So, save. Let him save the setting. It's down here to the right. He's doing it. And now then we log off. And then really, I think we've covered everything important. Well, log off is not enough. Uh, restart. So you see we're putting in to multi minimal standard. As you see, not touching the screen here, nothing, I'm not touching, multi-minimal is the first line. So I've changed my grub thanks to grub customizer. It's very graphical and very easy. And that's also the way if you want to uh, later say, hey, I want to have Windows as the first line and not Linux or vice versa. So that's what I do as well. Now I get again this prompt and maybe people say, hey, you just fixed this. 
No, this is Mate. This is device SDA1. Haven't fixed anything here. So here it says, still says XFCE. It's another partition. It's another part of your hard drive. So if you want to fix this here as well, the same as the other one, just do exactly the same, which is etc. Lightm, lightm.com, open with Sublime Text, maximize, make it bigger, plain text, Perl, everything that's white is good, is working. Now, how do I know it's Mate with one T or two T's or with double E, etc.? Again, user share uh, X sessions, uh, but I know, of course, the name is Mate. But sometimes it's it's tricky, so you have to check to be sure it's the way you think it is. So I'm gonna save it. And there you go. Last test. Shut down. Restart. Is Mate going to auto login me on this system? As the first line, again, take a look at the grub. First line is Mate, second line is now BSPWM. Not touching anything here, and auto login is going to fix well data login me that's it so there you go i think i um, explained a bunch of things and uh, well i wish you success with your du dual boot uh, projects and um, see you later